platform I go to, weather.ca.edu. And this will show you this current storm that we're expecting to get. Low, I mean. And the big storm for the weekend. Okay. As you can see, if you want to know point of reference for where New York City is, New York City is this dot right here. That's where New York City is. That's New Jersey, that's Long Island. See, there's a little precipitation building up. Now we're going to move into Friday and Saturday. And look what's going on. There's a storm coming in. A good batter precipitation for New York City. Mm. As you can see, this uh, yellow line right here, mm, that's the 5400 zero zero line, or the 32 degree line, at 850 millibars, or roughly two to 3,000 feet in elevation. And if this happens, we're going to be getting heavy snow. But the problem is the storm is going to be moving too fast for any fast accumulations, as you can see. At 102 hours, it just comes in. 12 hours later, 114 hours, it's just pulling out. And then, boom, it's done. So, this is going to be a fast-hitting storm. Um, and then, you get another storm coming in. I mean, the earlier that we were expecting this storm for 204 hours out to go all the way up to Chicago, but now they're forecasting this storm to go a little further to the south. So yes, there might be a chance that we could get a good uh, another snowstorm later in the week. I mean, next week. Possibility, the GFS is not picking up on it, but earlier, this storm was supposed to go up to Chicago. And now it's coming down to New York City, giving us a potential snowstorm. 6 to 12 inches, I'm expecting. Because we're going to have a fluff factor. Even though, according here, it's supposed to be like low 30s, um, surface temperatures. Now I'm going to go to surface temperatures. Surface, um, yeah, it should be around 30 degrees. But, but I'm expecting at least 6 to 12 inches of snow. It's not going to be in the 30s, trust me. You see all that Arctic air being, uh, in the pink and the purples? That's all Arctic. That's temperatures well below zero. And you see this little white dot right here. That is negative 60. Unbelievable. That's cold, just unfathomable cold. And um, and you do see this low right here. Send the low right here, and you see the precipitation ending. Usually when the low is pulling out, you might have another bout of precipitation, the wraparound. So you might have another ba band of snow coming in. But I'm expecting 6 to 12 inches of snow for the New York City area. Maybe in isolated pockets of maybe 13 to 14 inches. Only if we have the fluff factor. Without the fluff factor, which is which, the correct term for it is as water ratio, uh, snowfall to water ratio. If there's a low ratios, like usually typically 1 inch of snow equals 10 inches of, equals a tenth of an inch of rain. So 10 inches of rain, uh, snow equals uh, one inch of rain. But in this case, in very cold weather, one inch of rain could equal 20 inches of snow. So you could have a 20 to 1 ratio, not a 10 to 1. So if that happens, we might have uh, 15 to 20 inches versus 5 to 6. Well, thank you for watching.